I'm doing this thing where I tape my mouth shut at night to sleep because I think it'll stop me from snoring. And last night I just started suffocating. <laughs> so, so she woke up to someone like like I was having a dream <laughs> like that. <laughs> And you're like, at least I'm not snoring. Hundred percent. What? I wonder if, like, what if psychics did a podcast, and then they predicted what was? <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. I'm uh, a fucking. Oh, you know what I want to talk about today? What? We talked about that. I texted you the other day. Best football podcast. With guys that talk trash, yeah, 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 beyond yeah. belief. Yes, beyond belief. That would Clinton be Clinton Portis. I want Clinton Portis. His what's he doing, man? He was so much fucking fun. Yeah, Sap too. Sap would who be you awesome. still haven't called. Sap would be awesome. Will you call him again? Can you call him? Oh, who did I want to call? Why can't we call him? Who did I call that? I go. I got us another football player. Warren Sapp would be awesome. Come on. That's, that would be... No, I Hit him up. I can't. Why? Because I'm, I'm psycho calling him. I'm like an No, you haven't. You have, you have, when was the last time? You you tried last a month ago. It's just... It's a bad idea. Why? It would be, That would be a great podcast. Like, Bert, who, who would be... you're full of bad ideas. Just give him a call. Come on. Please. Please. Okay. This is a... We could produce his podcast. Let's pitch it to him. He's going, why the fuck did I give this white kid my number? He never answers. He never answers. Okay, come on, Warren Sapp. Come on. Come on, Warren Sapp. Come on. By the my, way, my, my, my battery's Turn it up, turn my it up. battery's low. What if it dies? He goes low and my battery phone dies. What? While I'm dying? Warren. No, no, no. Hold on one second, Brett. No, no. He said, he said Brett. He said Brett. Yeah, what up, Brett? But it's, it's Brett. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Oh, hey. On, you crazy motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Tom Segura, and we're doing our podcast, Two Bears, One Cave. And we have. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Let's go. <laughs> We've just saying, how come you don't have a football podcast that you do every Monday morning? It's got to happen. You it's got. You know what? No, no. Listen, listen, listen. I tried the goddamn podcast with uh, my dudes over there, Big Skeet and um, Dash Radio. Yeah. Dash Radio tells me, ah, listen, we can't, you know, give you this, that, and whatever until we see your numbers. I'm like, all right, we'll file up the numbers and let me go to work. You know, I, I don't got no problem. You know, yeah. I, I want to do the show. We're doing the show. I do this shit for 10 weeks. They come back and tell me, oh, our analytics guy didn't anticipate the numbers being out. I'm like, what? Numbers mm -hmm. are infinite. Only thing you got to do is put a fucking click on it. Just click. I can. Tom and I will give you a guarantee ourselves, and we will blow your fucking podcast up. Tom, Tom and I, Two Bears One Caves getting. Why don't Why don't Why don't Tom and Two Bears and One Cave do a Monday podcast of football, and I just join y'all, and we just blow it up that way? Hang on, I'm gonna pass the phone to Tom. Hey Warren, how's it going, man? What up, Tom? Hey man, big fan. Uh, yeah, I think this is a no brainer, hold dude. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold what? On, stop. What? Let me let me tell you what I just told Brett, cause that's why he passed the phone. To okay, okay, okay. I said, why don't you? Why don't two bears in a cave, and then we put a little sap in it. A and little. Then we do a Monday podcast, and I join y'all, and we blow it up that way, and then y'all just shoot me a little something on the side, and we just roll it that way. I mean, I. There's no, reason, there's no reason for me to break my goddamn neck and y'all already doing this. Y'all just want me in there just throwing a little shit around. That's and right. I'm throwing a little shit around. We'll yeah, send, and we'll, do this the right way. we'll send you a little bit, a little fish bait, some fuel for the boat. Yeah. Throw me a couple fish trips every night. You like, go fishing with the buddy. That's all I want to do. Hey. I'm an old broke down son of a bitch that just want to go fishing. Hey, <laughs> hey, man, we're in. Listen. We are in, Warren. We're in, dude. We're oh, in. I figured you was in. That's why when I looked down at South Bread, I'm like, they've been talking about this shit on the internet. Man, finally had a conversation. Because <laughs> I've been I've been telling Brett every week to give you a shout, man. <laughs> Listen, I, I didn't look down and saw his number. I looked down. I'm like, why the fuck is he on Twitter? Got there, he got my number. Call my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Warren, let me. Up. Hey, I'm crack one for me. Hey, uh, let me ask you this because I've been I've been having this argument with other people, and I know that I heard you say this. Did do we ever start at Miami? <laughs> Maybe before I got there. That's right. But then what happened when you showed up? No, 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 no. Never, never, never. Not from, I mean, I got there in 91. Right. So uh, did he play before 91? I don't know, man. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe on the <laughs> islands or some no, shit. No. I don't know. 
I don't think he play. I don't think he has a start. Does he? I don't think he, so. Usually, no, I don't think so either. No, you gotta you gotta be pretty damn good to start at Miami in those years. He yeah. Was, no, I was looking at a ninety. <laughs> talking about <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> Dude, Dewey. Dewey, I know, I know, I know. Same the guy. guy on WWL, that's right, that's right. No, I was just, I was just translating for Brett. No, no, no. The Rock kicks ass. Dewey's just an uh, okay defensive end and a less than okay defensive tackle. <laughs> I love it. This is the kind of shit we want to do, this man. This is what we're doing. This is what we're talking about. This is the type of shit we gonna do. This okay. is the way we gonna do. Fucking this starting. The ass down to the bad S's. Like I'm looking at these videos of. Odell Beckham catching the ball with his gloves on. Yeah. And it's, you know, with the one handed. Let's see you take that glove off. That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you Steve Largent that shit, man? <laughs> right? <laughs> so wrong. You know what? Chris Carter used to wear gloves in the first and second quarter, third quarter. He had his raw ass hands out in the third quarter. I said, What you got there? He said, That pretty shit is over. We got to play football now. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be the best podcast this is ever. happening, man. All right, listen. I'm going to. Three way text. I'm All gonna right. do a three-way text I with me, you, and Tom. All right. Listen, you throw, you send me a three-way. I have a landline phone, so you know I'm old school. Okay. Can, you know, actually connect to a, you know, yep. a landline. This <laughs> we is. We can zoom in, whatever the hell we want to do. Let's have fun. This, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna get checks, bro. I promise. You're gonna be excited. Listen, it's happening. I've been wait, I've been waiting on two bears in a man cave to shit over here in a long time ago. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. We'll be talking soon. All right. All right, Brett. All right, Big Set. All right, Brett. <laughs> all right. I love you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we got all the phone. Do you believe it? Uh. That was amazing. That was the best. <laughs> By the way, you were not going to call unless I insisted. This is why we're a good team, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. We're gonna, are we going to do a football? And you're wearing a fucking Bucks hat. That's ah, why this works. Shout out to the Bucks. I love this hat. I love this this razzle dazzle right there. Oh, my God. So, so, okay. So, football season. Which might not happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll just call them every week and be like, what'd you catch? <laughs> did you guys did you get a fucking Marlin on Saturday? <laughs> There's going to be no fucking season. Football. <laughs> we started a football podcast. Oh, my God. Oh, we just started a football podcast <laughs> with no football season. I don't know. We have a Hall of Famer who's like, we got nothing to talk about. <laughs> we just started a football podcast with no having a season. I'm sweating. Dude, how long do you think we could make it go where he, he doesn't know your name? <laughs> sound alike because I talked to him for 10 minutes <laughs> he called he was like hi Brett <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck Whew. do you know how much trouble we're going to get him in no he's not going to be in any trouble that's the best we're part we're going to fucking he, couple we, things well, he's first of all he's retired yeah he's, see this is what yes. he's retired he's got money he's got his life all we got to do is fucking float him we're going to, oh, this is going to be so, we just need a football season. Oh, my God. And then here's the thing. Can you guys start wearing masks so we can have a football season, please? <sighs> this is going to be the best fucking podcast ever. Um, what are we going to call it? Two Bears, One Cave with Warren? No, no, no. It's got to be better Two than Bears, that. One Cave with, Two Bears, One Cave, One Sap? Um, this is fucking, I don't know. I'm so excited. This though. is going to be. A fucking blast. I cannot believe that just came together. I can't believe that just happened. I know. It's going to be amazing. How can you got my name? Two bears, so one sap. Two bears, one sap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two bears, one sap. Yeah. <laughs> two bears, one sap. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Then here's the thing. I'm shaking right he now. He just, he'll be able, he'll say, he'll be able to say, like, he was always honest. He was great. Like an analyst talk. But it's going to be another level on podcasting. The the shit you can. Talk. We need this. We need you guys. Did you know that 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 I was talking about? 
<laughs> Dwayne Johnson when I asked him that? No, yeah. Yeah. Dewey? Yeah. Dewey. That's what they that's what he calls him. Dewey didn't do sh- he was like he didn't start. <laughs> oh my god, all our football conversations are gonna be real because he knows what the game is. Oh my god, yeah. And then you can float your ridiculous thoughts and then we can watch him just eviscerate you every week and he'll be like, Hold up, Brett, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Hold up, Brett. <laughs> We're gonna get high as fuck. Do you think he still smokes weed? I don't know. Get high and just talk football. He fishes like crazy. I know that. Oh, I want to go fishing oh. with him. Oh, that'd be the best, man. God damn it. I wish I wasn't wearing a see through shirt for a shirt for this moment. <laughs> I cannot, like, we could wrap up this podcast. I'm so happy we could wrap up this podcast right in. now. Ten yeah. in. Okay. Yeah. We got to jump wow. on this. We need, okay, Two Bears, One Sap. Yeah. And it's a football podcast. Comes out. How do we do this, Tom? Was it Wednesday? I think come we out? need to. I am it's got, it's so excited be... right now. Dude, yeah. I am so excited. Uh, two Bears, One Sap. It, and I, by the way, I fucking. He is so much fun to be around too. I remember I told him the Tracy Morgan story. Yeah, and we were because I, I was I wanted him to like me. Yeah, and so what we were sitting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we were sitting at we were sitting at Magic Mountain, and he was and I'm we're just bullshitting. He's such an interesting guy. He just walked over and he's like, he's the place is just closed for the day for us. And he goes over and he sees like an ice cream thing and he just opens it up and he goes, you want an ice cream sandwich? I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you really speak Bert. <laughs> and so we're eating ice cream sandwiches and I'm, you know, me, you you know me where I'm trying to slide in to like some comedy. So I'm like, yeah. I, I had Tracy Morris story. I start telling it to him and I get halfway through it and he goes, let me guess. He starts a bar fight so he can get out of paying the check. And I was like, have you heard this story? And he goes, no, but I've done that before. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, the story is a lot better when if you don't know it. I'll tell you this: I'd rather fight Tracy Morgan than oh Warren Sapp. <laughs> oh my God! This is we need to have a pro combine with him. The me versus you. Oh yeah, we need. He to, could be coach. He needs to become our best friend. He could be coach. Do you he think could... he'll move out here with us? I don't think so. <laughs> we gotta get him an apartment so he can just come out here for like long stretches of time. Yeah, I'm sure he probably has connections. <laughs> I don't think he needs us. But this is too. I'm super stoked this about this. This is so awesome. I'm, okay. I want to spend the whole podcast talking about this. NFL, you got to come back. We have a podcast to do. NFL, we will do anything we can. You need public service announcements, whatever. Oh, I wonder yep. if we can get press credentials. Credentials now. Yeah, until first. they watch the first episode, they'll be like, "Oh, revoke those credentials right away." <laughs> we, we can start. By the way, episode one, we got to be like, Warren, what's the biggest dick you've ever seen in the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, all right, guys, it was fun. <laughs> We're like, all right, all joking aside, how big is Michael Irvin's dick? <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking greatest. <laughs> oh, uh, two bears, one sap. That's great. This is fucking next level. We That's got good. merch. We should start with merch. Yeah. We yeah. That's what first check comes. First check. Oh, we could come up with merch right now. And then we'll send him a check before the podcast even started. And then, and then he knows. Then, then he'll be like, all right, all right, all right. right, right. Holy like, shit. All right, we got it. What's our two bears? He's like, these two crazy white boys call I answer. They always send checks. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, By the so way, are, awesome. you a, are you the reason they're doing this? What? So Tito's, which is your go-to vodka. You've been a big Tito's advocate. Yeah. I wish I hadn't. It says vodka for dog people. Yeah. Which is you. I wonder if they know that I fuck dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Bert gets his hands on that dog. <laughs> Woo. I haven't had Tito's and soda in a while. Why? That's your drink. One. Okay. I love this. I love this. We need two bears, one sap merch. Do we just, is it, is, wow, God, I'm so excited, Tom. It should I'm so be, fucking excited. It should be like him, This is what the com, the business should, should have be like been when we got into it. Towering over us and like holding us with his, like holding us down. <laughs> like his little. I love that he called me Brett. Multiple times. By the way, he called me Brett too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, and you know what's amazing is like, his, his, his insights on football are legit amazing. Like his, I yeah, mean, his, he was, um, he got fucked on that whole, on that whole deal. 
getting kicked off NFL Network or whatever. Or yeah, a lot of those on. guys. That's, I, he's his insight. He was a great commentator. That's and this how that's how it started. I texted you one night and I said, you know, with what we do is we. Kind of, I mean, I don't know. I was, I was trying to explain to the girls the other night because we were they were talking about people talking politics on podcasts and they go, do you guys do that on two bears, one cave? I go, nah, I'm talking about me wiping my finger with my ass. I'm wiping my ass with my finger. And a lot of follow-ups about that. A lot of yeah. people have questions. Yeah. I haven't done it since I take that back. <laughs> I've done it since, <clears throat> but I was like, I was like, we don't definitely talk reckless. Did you tell the about it? I don't know. So she doesn't know. I doubt it. I think, she, I think it wouldn't shock her. That's the thing is I'm that's the bet I want to make. Would it like does would anything shock her? No. Anything that we say that Bert just did, nothing will shock Yesterday her. Yesterday I got out of the pool. I got done working out, I got out of the pool and I'm naked in the backyard. Girls are in their rooms. I'm naked in the backyard just with Leanne. And I go, I bet when you were a kid you never thought you'd see, get to see this much dick when you got older. And she was like, Oh <laughs> She was like, Yeah, this is my dream. <laughs> Wait, can we ask her what what she thinks of you doing that? Of, yeah, yeah. I wonder if she even knows about it. <gasps> Warren's app. We're gonna share this. Oh, I, yeah. Wait, make sure you don't. Uh, I don't just oh, yeah. just share that with everybody. Are you calling him again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. <doll. laughs> Is he? Was he talking about scuba diving? Maybe. Hey, babe. Listen, I'm, we had to do two episodes today. We'll cut that out. Um, but I, so I'm not gonna make it to Romy. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I just didn't know if you were like almost done. There's no, no, we just started and and now we're doing a podcast with Warren Sapp. Hold on, hold on. What did you say? Nothing. Um, hey, uh, and then I'm going to need Georgia to drive the car back. Tom's making me drink on this fucking podcast. No, Georgia's 16 years old. What do you mean? All right. You mean like when I, I'm going there at three. Okay, all right. Bring... bring Georgia with you. Are you staying there till three? I don't know, baby. You're, this is. Uh, can I? I'll call you right back. Okay. Bye. Do you, do you see how fucking complicated? Uh, it's so yeah. much easier talking to Warren Sapp. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, and she had a mask on. Can you tell she had a mask yeah, on? Yeah. And yeah. you're like, just. Yeah. Ugh, wives. Fucking. I'm like. <sighs> let's go back to Warren Sapp. Yeah. It was so much more fun when we were talking to him. I know. I know. It's like it's like they live. She lives in the now. She can't just she can't just go like, oh how cool. I, I, you know what I hate when you say something and then they go they go uh, wait what and you're like never mind. They go well no if you want to go to the store you go well then you fucking heard me. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to do this with Warren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is gonna be. This yeah. is good. Should we dress alike and not tell him which one's Brett? Oh my god! And we both have beards. Why don't we just there? have them both call us Brett? Yeah. Two breaths, one cat, one sap. <laughs> merch. We said start merch when, now. When you first said Brett, like you, I think you said Brett, I thought you were saying that he was talking to Brett Favre. You know what I mean? Like when he was like, oh, Brett. Like, I thought you meant oh, like that because he was having another conversation. By okay. the way, do you realize who he could get in to call I in? I just thought of that, Tom. Yeah. Okay. Let's do our wish list. Number one, Charles Haley. <laughs> Oh yeah, ah, definitely. What if like we like he's like laughing and jovial, and we go, "Could you get Charles Hay?" He's like, "Guys, uh, you know that, that's just it's not it's not safe. It's not possible." <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with him. No, no. Um, um, Brett Favre would be awesome. Yeah. Well, first of all, all his old Miami teammates are like, like personality wise, like on, on top of being just talent, like yeah, to get them on, like Clinton Portis calling in. Um, Jesus, who were his like? See, you're gonna have to really. I'm gonna have to brush him off. I don't know football the way you know football. You legit know football. No, I mean not like him. Um, Definitely no one. I mean, no one knows it like him. But yeah, I'm trying to think because. Oh, did, did that say? Wait, scroll back down. Scroll down more. Oh, Keyshawn Johnson. Yeah, Keyshawn Johnson would be. It said Warren Sapp bullied the Buccaneer. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. It said he. I just think it'd be funny to talk to him about talking shit to other players. I bet he would. It would suck to be like a teammate, and then he's like, "You know, you suck." <laughs> you're, like, you're like, "Yeah, I know." I just want to see, like, you know, the thing about a guy like Warren Sapp is Pat McAfee one time told me explosivity. Yeah, is that, that he was like, "Explosivity is the most important thing." I bet Warren Sapp could 
knock you out so fucking quick. For sure. I bet his hand movement from pocket to jaw. He's probably like, I'm going to guess 6'2", and he probably p- played at around 3'10", 3'15", I think. And he... Um, what if we have the number one NFL podcast in the world? I mean, it's possible. It's very possible. 6'2", yeah. 300 pounds. That's about me and you. <laughs> What if what if we call the show six two three hundred? <laughs> six two three hundred times three. <laughs> That's the name of our show. Six two three hundred. <laughs> Derek Brooks, Mike Alstott. Yeah. You know who I don't get? John Lynch. That's a teammate of his. Yeah, I don't really get that guy. What do you mean? I don't. I think I don't get it. What do you not get? The whole thing. The what he's doing. Well, isn't he like a GM now or something? Yeah. Like what was he like a like a safety he's yeah. like was he he was like a strong safety for the no bucks. but no he was like a trust fund kid right i i don't know google john lynch trust fund kid i think his parents uh were like were like fucking really really rich and then he bought the broncos no 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 man he's a gm now yeah and he bought the broncos he did with not john. buy the fucking broncos john yeah. lynch uh go to john lynch wikipedia just John Lynch bio, yeah. Jesus Just Christ. John Lynch, what Wikipedia, and I guarantee you, it says he grew up very white privileged. Okay, let's see. He had a helicopter take him to practice. Okay, isn't it American high football executive? Blah, blah blah blah. Go to early life. Scroll down to like his his early years. There you go. Hit that. Was born. He attended Torrey Pines, Carmel Valley, San Diego, where he played football, baseball, basketball. Um, how about personal life, baseball career? Yeah. Oh, he did have. A, Okay. Well, he signed to a two-year deal for five hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars in '93. Yeah. Jesus, I guess uh, he wasn't. Wait, is there a personal life section for this Wikipedia or no? Yeah. Yeah, personal life. He's married. Da, da, da. He had his I, father. I, his father, John, is a retired radio executive in San Diego, a founder of the sports talk station XEPR AM ten ninety. I mean, come on, that's not, that's not trust Does, is there a thing for John Lynch Senior? Like, is there a yeah, bio yeah, for him? Yeah, 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 but it doesn't go anywhere. It's purple. Oh, yeah, there we go. President and CEO, CEO of, of Broadcast S- Company of the Americas. Ugh, that might be. I think he was, like, really, mm-hmm. really rich. What happens if... Uh, <clears throat> that doesn't take away from John Lynch. No, he's a Hall of Famer, dude. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Scroll back, scroll back. He had $125 million. He sold the yeah. company uh, for $152 million. Yeah, $152 million. John Lynch definitely... Was like, yeah, yeah, I'll sign for five hundred twenty-six thousand. Hey, Dad, <laughs> <laughs> they're giving me uh, your weekly salary to play football. I don't understand why you're doing this, John. <laughs> I don't think his dad sounded like that. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Uh, let's talk first about, season. First season of but, our show. Oh yeah, but who was it? We said with the other shit talkers. We went, oh yeah, I told you Cameron Jordan. Who's for, Cameron Jordan for the Saints? Right? Isn't that uh, Cameron Jordan? Isn't that their? Uh, Clinton Portis was the most reckless talker yeah. I've ever listened Cam to. Cam Jordan, dude. He he is <clears throat> amazing in interviews. For like, real? Give me a Cam Jordan interview. I'd love that. I'm, I'm a big uh, Cam Jordan fan now. Dude, he talks so much shit. He was like, that dude ain't shit. Talking about like active QB. He's in the NFL. He's like, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about other guys like saying that they suck. Ask, do the, uh, isn't it Cam Jordan? Am I getting the wrong guy? Um... Get Cam Jordan trash talk. Clinton Portis was one of the funnest guys to listen to because roasts. Not roasts. Falcons. You don't want that. You want a real. Is, oh. is Cam Jordan the one? Oh, we're going to do a Warren Sapp birthday roast. When's his birthday? Oh, this is. That's one of the things we'll do. Yeah. Um, do Cam Jordan. Did he talk about Ben Roethlisberger? Jesus Christ. Cam. It, it, it came up. Yeah. Uh, Cam Jordan's hot take on Ben Roethlisberger. He talk, he, I'm telling you, he... he, he, he uh... See, I love this kind of talk. Yeah. And there's not enough there of this. Right there. Yeah, that, that's the interview. That's the one. That's the clip. 
Let me hear. What does this offense do well? We know they run it well. We know they got a couple thousand yard receivers. They've got a quarterback who might be going to the Hall of Fame. He's only in fact 20. Is that true? Roethlisberger? Yeah. So, really? What does this offense do well? <laughs> in this era? You put him at like a top three of this era. I wouldn't put him at a top three, but I think top gonna, five of this era. I think he's going to go to the Hall of Fame. Top five of this era. Roethlisberger, top five of this era. You put him at top five of this era. A couple of Super Bowls. He's probably going to Is that a yes or no? Yes. That's you put, what you want. So you have, who, who yeah, you that's what top? you want. Yep. You want to do like, first of all, if we forget too much. Sports are entertainment. This, it's entertainment. This is what's. And, and having like, a, it's not, you can't have it be like a third stringer. Having like a star player be like, oh yeah, talking shit like that about another active player. That's, I mean, that gets me to buy a fucking Sunday ticket, man. I'm drunk right now. And so I take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, how's the Tito's and dog fuck? How's the soda? <laughs> you mean the? <laughs> <laughs> is that good? Yeah, it's good. Hey, um, <clears throat> here's okay. Uh, I I don't want to lose this thought, and it may be wrong. So like, don't cancel me for this thought. Enjoy that it's a reckless thought. Corporations make people bend at the knee, right? Yeah. And so that's what they did with football players that came in that had a lot of personality. The corporations were like, no more dancing in the end zone. Yeah, and so they the they, no fun league, the no fun league, and they and that that's what corporations do. But the problem is, you got all these guys who were fucking amazing to listen to. Warren Sapp being top top oh, five, easy in in. But like Deion Sanders, all these guys oh, that were like, in. yeah, all these guys that have, were so much personality. And and I wonder sometimes if they got so they're in such a bad relationship with these corporations. Yeah, they were like, hey, we want your personality, but we want it the way we want it. But, but with podcasting, we've taken the corporations out of it entirely. Yeah. Now all we're it's saying total is... Total freedom. Total freedom. It's I, I think someone like Warren is going to blossom, or a guy like Cam Jordan, Be where you go... Fan-fucking-tastic. Where man. you go, hey, the fucking reckless talk is what we're here for. That fucking shit where you you, you come back on the podcast, you're like, I, I was drunk. I don't, I, fuck, I don't know. I guess I said we were stopping doing the show. I don't remember saying that. Like, yeah. that kind of shit's going to be a fucking <clears throat> blast. Yeah. I, and I love, and it's one of the things I love, you know, my my dad is, uh, my dad's just a weird fucking guy. So, like, I remember, I remember when, when Deion Sanders, like, I, I always try to predict what my dad's going to say, and then I try to get him, because when I was younger, I'd try to figure out what he was going to say. Yeah, yeah. And so when Deion Sanders came out and he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, it said primetime. Yeah. I remember seeing it and loving it, right? Going like, oh, fuck yeah. I need more of this. I need more. I remember it was there on the table. My dad said, saw it. And I was like, we were at his office. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make sure I'm I'm corporate aligned with what my dad thinks. Yeah. So my dad goes and he goes, fucking Deion Sanders. And I said, you know, all that showboating. He goes, stop right there. Let me tell you why you're fucking wrong. And I went. Okay. By the way, I'm I'm already like I'm not. These aren't my thoughts. Yeah. I'm just thinking what I, I think. I thought you'd like it. Yeah, I thought you'd like <laughs> this. And he was like, "You have no fucking idea. This is who this guy is. He needs to be. They'd allow him if he was white. He could do whatever the fuck he want. Look at Jim McMahon or whatever. And he's like, they let that. But it, but because he's African American, these corporations try to put. He's just giving you who he is. This is who my dad like. It was like the most progressive fucking thing you could have ever said. And I was like, yeah, I like it too. <laughs> And I, and the, but then I do the dance and my dad fucking would be like, right. what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. If you're like that, can I, well, no, I, I told you when I was in, for, when I played for the, my first b- yes. b- football game, I caught it. But first baseball game, I caught the fly ball bases loaded. I was in first grade, spiked it, ripped off my shirt and started dancing. Yeah, yeah. And then all the bases cleared and we lost the game. And my dad was like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? And I was like, and so I'm looking at Dion going, yeah. why didn't you like it when it was your son? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, if he was your son, you wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, because he would all the rah rah stuff. Where he'd probably be like, "Come on, man!" But hasn't he accepted it now? He knows, like, that's who you. He knows he it. does not accept it. I he think, he joined you on stage shirtless at that show. I I think yeah, I don't yeah, I think he maybe accepts it. I think he doesn't understand a bunch of it. I think it just is like it's almost sense. like having a gay son, and my dad's just like, I, I love you. I don't get it, mm-hmm. but I love you. Right? Uh, did I just say that I'm like a gay son to my dad? Yes, and you also... Do you think Warren's going to get our personalities? I think he'll like me more, but I think that... I think he's going to love you. 
I think you and him are going to become kidding. best friends. <laughs> I think that it's funny <laughs> that you associate all your, like, you know, idiosyncrasies and habits and uh, personality traits and everything with, you know, a gay person's. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like I'm flamboyant. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, it's, like, it's not a lifestyle choice. I, this is who I am. I was born this way. No, it is. This is who you are. I, I should. We didn't up. get to tell Leanne about that you wipe your ass. Oh, let's not deal with her. Yeah. This is going to be a rough day for the B-Man. Really? Oh, yeah. Because of the booze? Because Yeah, because I... Uh, and she did she know you tied one on last night or no? Mm, I don't think she knows, but I'm doing this thing where I tape my mouth shut at night to sleep because I think it'll stop me from snoring. And last night I just started suffocating. <laughs> so, so she woke up to someone like, like I was having a dream. <laughs> like that? <laughs> and you're like, at least I'm not snoring. <laughs> oh, God, help me. Help me. Get it out of my mouth. Dude, who goes to tape their mouth shut? Uh, this guy was on Rogan's podcast. It's Rogan's fucking fault. Why don't you just get a mouth guard? Because I, I, he said mouth tape works. Get a mouth guard. I just bought a fucking dick load of mouth tape. Well, how do you tape it? Like just, around the back of no, your... No, no, no. Tape your mouth. Or you can do this. This is what the other thing I tried doing is you put this on like, like this. So it holds your yes, jaw yeah, shut. Yes, but that's... Listen, those things are doing... A shitty version of what a mouth guard does. That's what the mouth guard does. I don't, I, this mouth guard talk, I don't understand. Just get it. a mold. Okay, you go to a dentist. I don't, okay, well, let's stop right there. I well, don't want to go to the dentist. I'll, but they, they don't do anything but getting a mold of your teeth. And then they send that mold to a company that. that will ship that'll ship you a mouth guard. You, you have a mouth guard? Yeah. You sleep with something in your mouth? I'd yeah. rather tape my mouth shut. It's a mouth guard. It's super easy. And it does what you're saying. It keeps your lower jaw forward and up slightly so it doesn't... Uh, Follow up. A mouth breather. That's why you want to use it. Oh. I mean, so, yeah. So I, I or you can me. duct tape your mouth shut. <laughs> you can duct tape your lips shut. And then, I got to see this. Is there a photo of it? No. I, well, yeah. I mean, I yeah. mean, don't I'll you have to. I bought. Oh, my God. This is insane. You're really doing this? Yeah. How are you alive? You know. Like that? That's what you look like when you sleep? No. The far, the, no that's actually not the one. Go to the far left one. That's what I got, Sominex. Where, where, where? That's it. You see, put that on your mouth. It look, I look like a sad clown. And you just, and you're snoring through that though. How, how strong is it? It's got to be strong, right? Yeah, it's it's pretty strong, but uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I've been breathing, trying to breathe through my nose. <clears throat> I listen to this fucking goddamn Rogan podcast about breathing. And you know. Oh, is that the breath thing you were reading? Dude. What? It's. It's uh, the book the guy wrote is fucking fascinating, but more importantly, it's like Joe is really when Joe's dialed into and interested in something, he is such an engaging interviewer. Mm -hmm. Like, I, and and so Joe's interest in this got me re <clears throat> really interesting because I was like, I only breathe through my mouth. I've never breathed through my nose. And this, what is the principle uh, of this? The whole idea is that you, when you breathe through your mouth, you're not really getting full breaths. But when you you're breathe breathing, through your nose, you are. When you breathe through your nose, <clears throat> you get. I only breathe through my mouth, and so I get. And Leanne has said to me at times, "Are you breathing right now?" And I'll go, "No," and she'll go, "You need to breathe, honey." Like, like, and and it's cause of anxiety, obesity, and high blood pressure. All three things I deal with is mouth breathing. And really? So, yeah. This is this fucking book is fascinating. So I started. So I'm listening to the podcast and I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not breathing at all right now. And I went, oh, I should try to breathe through my nose. So I started breathing through my nose and it said, you should do six breaths per minute is like, what is healthy? And then I'm sitting there. I'm like, I'm doing like 15, like going, <clears throat> you know, like it said six a minute, six a minute. I got it down to two, two a minute, two breaths per by, minute. By practicing? By, by just being relaxed, calming down and breathing slowly. Just going. Out through your mouth? Out through my mouth. And so I, I got it down to two a minute, and I was like... Two a minute seems like really low. It's really low. But I got it to six a minute, then I got to four a minute, then I got it down to two a minute, and I was like, 
Wow, man, I'm like really relaxed. And that's the way you're supposed to breathe all the time or just when you're relaxing? When you're relaxing. And, and you, but you're supposed to be breathing through your nose. So then I spent all yesterday with this fucking thing around my head trying to keep my mouth shut to remind me to breathe through my nose. And by the end of the day, I'm like fucking hyper aware, hyper like pumped up. And I'm like, I think I'm getting too much oxygen. <laughs> like I think I'm breathing too much. I don't breathe, normally breathe this much. I'm normally tired and... And so, and so I'm trying to sleep with my mouth closed because they say that'll stop snoring too. So, I mean, I, I wake up sometimes and my tongue is as dry as a finger. Like from breathing through my mouth. You got to get the mouth guard, dude. I'm just telling you, it's, it's not that crazy. Yeah, but how's that going to help? Because I'm just going to go, and it's no. going to fall out of my pillow. No, because it's, 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 it's custom for your mouth. So it's not, if you buy over the counter kind of thing or online, yeah. But if you get an actual mold, uh, you pop it in, pop. It's like you're putting a mouth guard into for sports, you know. But it's it's custom for your teeth, and then and then I can get like fangs on it, like I'm a sure. MMA fighter. And you <clears> get the <throat> you get the strong band so that your your lower jaw can't drop. A strong understand? band, what? The bands. There's like rubber bands that like have elasticity, tight or loose. The tighter it is, the less you sleep you can with. The, you sleep with it, and do you snore? Well, I do snore if I, especially if I don't have it. But with it, it can eliminate snoring completely. That's one of my favorite jokes you had that you just kind of threw away. I don't know. Maybe you used in a special. Mm. Maybe we didn't even say it as special. We were in Irvine and you said, uh, my wife says I snore, but I have no fucking proof of this. Oh yeah. <laughs> was that, a, was that a bit? It was, it was a joke. I used to say like, uh, yeah. It was cause, cause I was like, I, cause people would really get mad at you for snoring. And you go, I think you're making this up. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had any, I've never. And then it was like, yeah, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not awake, so. Yeah, it's like you're, she's getting mad at you for doing something that you can't help. I can't help it, yeah. And she gets do, mad. Do, you know, do you know why I ordered my first mouth guard? Why? We were engaged, and I was, of course, I was so fat, and so. How, how fat were you at your fattest? The fattest I've ever been actually wasn't then. Well, th here's the thing. That was the number on the scale wasn't the worst that it got, but I was the most inactive. So in other words, like, fat but like not doing anything active you know what i yeah. mean no not even going for walks i yeah. was just living that national feature lifestyle of just flights and i was telling someone the other day i was like you realize that like it's not just when you go to a comedy club and you go i'm eating wings and and cheese sticks but four days in a row like that was your meal oh, every yeah. day <clears throat> and i go and i was and on top of that doing nothing physical so i think i was just like at my not just <laughs> it wasn't my fattest but it was like my sloppiest like my yeah. my most pathetic <laughs> and i was probably write down write down um pro style dumbbells keep going yeah i was probably i, I had to be at that time around two between 245 and 252 something like in that range but like wait what are you now 230 232 maybe god damn it um but so here's the thing she like a lot of times i would wake up and at that time you know no kids or anything we go i would go to bed at like two in the morning almost yeah. every night and i would wake up at like 10 30 11 and sometimes if i woke up let's say she'd be in the living room sleeping on the couch and I'd be, i was like what are you doing she was like uh you're snoring like so loud and then she would say you're snoring through like i can hear you through the wall like with the door i'm like nah -uh. And of course, like you wake up and you're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And she's like, dude, it's crazy. So she had said it and I was trying to, I was like, I was like, wow, I feel badly. But you don't have a real appreciation for it until she recorded me one night. Wait, do you have that still? I don't think so. I mean, it was fucking 13 years ago, dude. So she, she goes, hey, I recorded you. And I was like, let me hear it. And my fucking, I was like. Like my jaw dropped. I was like, I want to. I go. You're. You have. To, like, I actually felt so badly. I was like, you're sleeping next to this. So that day, I ordered the one you can get on a like one eight hundred number. It was like there was commercials for it, and you put it in hot water and you mold it. Like like when you're a kid and you play basketball or football yeah. and they like get a mouth guard. So that helped. Like that was a huge improvement. And then eventually, I was telling a dentist about it. And he was like, you should get like a professional one. And that's a game changer, dude. I got to get one. I, I, I can't imagine how bad my snoring is. Oh, my Leanne's God. Leanne only sleeps on the couch. Uh, she's, she hasn't slept in our bed in years. You got to do it. Well, I, we're just going to, we're just building a new house and then we're building her a room. 
her own room yeah really yeah to sleep in well we got our room that we'll live in and her clothes will be in there but then she is making a room for herself to just sleep in yeah why would we sleep in the same bed it's so silly it's usually it's a good sign for a marriage i love that bitch more than anyone has ever loved her in her fucking life the bed no the woman oh <clears throat> i said bitch not oh, bed. oh i thought you said bed <laughs> no i love that bitch that woman is lucky that she's got I, let me tell you something there this is, is what I'm talking about. No one's ever loved her like I love her. And this was what Warren would contribute so much to right now because yeah. I feel like he probably, you know what I mean, can definitely this identify gonna, with you. This might be one of my favorite podcasts we've ever done. I know Kool-Aid was a big, fun podcast. Yes. We laughed harder than we've ever laughed. Yes. I can't wait till Warren Sapp sits and finds out that I drink two gallons of Kool-Aid a day. He's going to he's gonna have a good time. He's gonna he's going to love this job we're getting him into. Yes. And he's going to love the money, and we're going to have merch. Yep. He's going to be fucking selling merch like crazy. Yep. We're going to get shots of him on his boat with Jimmy Johnson. Here's what, I, here's what I propose right now. What's that? Once the season starts, I propose that we do this Monday mornings. Okay. We recap the weekend. I mean, we talk our shit. We do, we do all our bull, like, you know, life stuff. What'd you do? Fishing, whatever. How was the road? We talk about I have, I have. some college and NFL stuff, some, some notes, some, some things. We make a prediction about Monday night football every Monday. Mm -hmm. We try to put out the episode as quickly as we can. The following week when we do it, we not only recap all the same stuff, but we, we, figure, like the, we get to play how we did on our predictions for the Monday night game. So we're like, how did we do on the last prediction? So we have that element of like predicting a game, recapping a game, going over notes, mm -hmm. news, yeah. and doing like silly fun stuff too. All right, can I, here's my, here's where I, I here's what I want. Go ahead. First episode, me and you have to fly, and we got to fly him here. Yeah. And we need to be, it needs to be like. In person. In person. Okay. Our christening episode. Because I understand that. It might be COVID restricted. He might not want to get on a plane. We fly in private. What? We fly in private. Okay. We, fl we split it and we fly in private. All right. You know he's going to be so much fucking fun. If we flew him out private. Yeah, I think anyone would be. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be the greatest. Fuck, and we and, and why don't we just gang shoot him and just have him evergreen? <laughs> I just do a bunch of them. And we just make up games. We're like, had the, oh, man, they won by 52. All right, next game. Oh, fuck. No, it'll be fun, man. It'll be super fun. I am so excited about this. And I know that your brain is so different than mine. I'm thinking of like stupid stuff of telling him my Christian Perfect. Akoya story. Perfect. But <clears throat> which, by the way, was a cliffhanger for the last one. What's yes. your Christian Nicoya thing? It's not that good now that I've I've built it up. But I'll tell you. So also, isn't it kind of uh, silly that more people can use the moniker Nigerian Nightmare? Like he was the original, I thought. Yeah. And then like Are there other ones. Well, like the fighter, the MMA guy, he went by Nigerian Nightmare that fought a few weeks ago. Frank, uh, Uz uh, Usman. Usman. Yeah, Usman. That's not. He doesn't Isn't even that? have an accent. I don't know anything about that. No, he doesn't. Like. Christian Okoye has an, is from Nigeria. Yeah, he. Um, so we did a <clears throat> we did a football show during the, like one of the Super Bowls when I was on um, when I was on uh, FX. So I had a show on FX called uh, the X Show. It was like a late night talk show. It was like yeah. my first job in in LA. I remember this. And we had Joe Montana on. We had Jerry Rice. We're I gonna ask Joe Montana about Charles Haley jacking off in front of him. <laughs> I think Charles Haley used to say something about Joe Montana's wife to him all the time. We can definitely get Joe Montana on now, now that we are partners with Warren Sapp. And so, um, so Christian Okoya comes on one day, and I, I, no one really knew who he was. I knew who he was because uh, that's of my time. It's that old thing you said, like all your heroes are when you watch the sport. And yeah. Chris, I just remember Icky Woods, Christian Okoya. Those yeah. were like yeah. the, my running backs, and so. We're doing a picture of a big group picture, right? At the Before we do the show. And everyone's like super excited when we take the picture. And then they everyone starts to walk away. And I go, oh, wait, 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 one more, one more, one more. I go, Christian, will you take your shirt off so I can hold you? And, and he was like, excuse me. And everyone is like awkward. And I go, I'm just kidding. I'm a fucking comedian. And then everyone laughs. And he goes, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we do the episode. We get done this, the... um. We get done. We get done the episode, and everyone's like, "Let's do one more picture." So we do one more picture, 
And he goes, and we take the picture, and everyone starts walking away. And Christian Acquire grabs me by the shirt, and he goes, hey, hey. And I come back, and it's, now it's just me and him on set. And he goes, hey, let's take our shirts off. And I go, what? And he goes, take our shirts off, right? Hold each other. And I go, I, oh, man, I'm so sorry. And he goes, I got you, funny guy. <laughs> but he is Christian Acquire. He's yeah. fucking massive. Yeah. He's like 6'4". He's like, Take our shirts off. And I'm so fucking panicked. I'm like, oh God, I'm gonna have sex with this guy right now. And then I, I got feel like funny guy. I thought I thought you were doing your uh, Russian accent guy. I'm bad at accents. No, you're not. By the way, you definitely code talked a little bit when you were talking to Warren Sapp. Just want to call you on it. A uh, Warren Sapp? You were like or Ron. You were like, yo, homeboy, what's I got, up? I did not say that. <laughs> I got accused of code speak with Ron. Are you serious? Oh yeah. So I was I was trying to be like extra white with Warren. <laughs> Ron. I was like, hello, Warren. How are you? <laughs> Ron is getting hit up to do podcasts now. Oh, he is? <laughs> I was like, Ron, this is a horrible idea. Why? I was like, you cannot tell anyone I'm racist. <laughs> it's not a joke, Ron. He's like, I know, I know. I was like, you'll, because when Ron, back when, when, back when I used to be called racist, <laughs> I fuck dogs, okay? And you smell like shit. And I smell like shit. I get it. I'm cool with it. But uh, Ron, when Ron tried to do the joke, it never worked. Oh, right. He'd be like, this is racist motherfucker. Right? And then everyone's like, oh, my God, for real? And he's like, yeah, really? And just walk out of the room. I go, Ron, you got you to you you put some release. spin on it. You got to put some spin on it. <laughs> Fucking. So Ron's now doing podcasts. He's like, I work for him, but he's super racist. I got to go. And he just walks out of the room. <laughs> there's no fucking, there's no. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is brought to you by Raycon. Whether you're working from home or working on your fitness you want what you're listening to to be what you're listening to, not what your kids or your neighbors are listening to. If you're going to invest hundreds of dollars into a great pair of wireless earbuds, you need to check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. You already know Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. They sound just as amazing as other top audio uh, top brands that you're familiar with. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are the best ones yet. With six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. They're so comfortable. They're easy to use for conference calls, walk around, listen to podcasts, or exercising. Whatever you want to do, these are the ones to go with. Now's the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash bears. That's buyraycon.com slash bears for 15% off Raycon, Raycon wireless earbuds. That's buyraycon.com slash bears. Do you ever hear the Big J story? <laughs> no. So I, I'm, this is going to come out one of my vlogs because this comes full circle. I was in San Antonio one weekend, right? Mm. And we're partying, doing Laugh Out Loud. And I go, who's coming next week? And they go, Big J. No, one of the women that worked there was trying to take after her her niece her niece was 16 and was working there also and her niece was hanging out with us at the bar not drinking but she i think she'd gone through a rough patch in her life and and uh and we're all bullshit and i'm hanging out with the the aunt and and i go oh big jay's coming next week i fucking love big jay and they're like we should do a practical joke on him and i said to the 16 year old i said hey when big jay's here you should tell him like pull him aside and go Hey, do you have birth number? And he'll be like, "Why?" And you go, well, "He got me pregnant." And then, and then, look at look on Jay's face, and he's just fucking with you, you know. But I know Jay is funny. She's like, "Oh yeah, it'd be funny as shit." So that's all I say about it. I don't really, we don't talk about it more. And I, I yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna fuck this story up because I'm sure in the vlog it's different. But watch the vlog; that's the accurate because we go What's, back. Which vlog? In in my, on my Bert on my Bert Kreischer YouTube channel, I we're doing vlogs for the Wet Hot Summer Store, yeah. and we went to San Antonio, and I told the guys there what happened. What happened was Big J shows up the next weekend, and the girl comes up to him and says, uh, "Hey, do you have Bert's number to Big J?" And he's like, "He's like, uh, yeah, why? What's up?" She's like, are "You friends with him?" And he's like, "Yeah, good friends with him." He she goes, "Yeah, well, he got me fucking pregnant, and she just left." And never told him it was a joke. <laughs> so Jay's like fucking sweating. Like two days later, he's like, God damn, a Burke got a 16-year-old pregnant. Like that's not who I thought he was at all. At all. And like he's sitting with it and he's like, God damn it. So on Sunday, he's going to leave the club. And he's with the two openers who had been 
randomly been at the bar when I made this joke going, you should tell. And Jay's like overwhelmed. He's like, Hey, when Bert was here, did he like, was he like, like he's kind of probably, he's like, was he like with the, the fucking 16 year old? And he goes, they go, Oh yeah. He was joking that he, that she should tell him you got her. He got pregnant, pregnant. And Jay's like, wait, hold on. That's a joke. And they go, yeah. Why did she do it? And he goes, yeah, she just did it and just left. <laughs> There's yeah. no fucking good. Yeah. You're like, you the, can't, it's not a practical joke anymore. The That's payoff a <laughs> is that I've traumatized you. <laughs> Jay, Jay called me and he's like, dude, I've been thinking, how am I going to cover for you for fucking getting a 60 year old pregnant? He was like, Bert, I got to tell you, man, I was going to out you. <laughs> I can really guess, you can't fuck 16 year olds. I was like, Jay, I'm not fucking a 16 year old. Oh, fuck. I love a good practical joke when it just and like when you find out years later. Yeah, yeah. I have a nice little buzz. That was, and that was a nice breath through your nose. I was gonna give you a compliment. I just, I'm I'm using a uh, inhalers in my nose yeah. to try to open it up. We're gonna do a montage of all your all those. I I, I don't know why I do that. When I got a little had a little drink. Oh, yeah. Well, this is my daughters make fun of me for skipper fingers. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen Ooh. That. A lot of times you go like this. That. Yeah. Or. That's another one. And then, and then my thing is I go, what's up, dog? Hey, man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, shit. You think Ron would what call. What up, big you think, sap? You think Ron would call us on, uh, on code talking to him? I don't know. If I, I don't if we call Ron and go, yo, what up, what up, what up? Is that, that's my impression of. You know you can't do an impression of black dudes anymore. That's racist. You can't do an impression. Like if you like if you're doing a story and then like if if okay so if I this is if I say and then I was talking to Ron and I was like oh shit dog that you can't do that you got to be. What like, do you mean you can do it? You just did it. Well, I know, but you can't. But in I the mean future. Well, from this point on, <laughs> can you tell that I'm buzzed? A little bit, not not bad. Have a couple. um. But like in my specials, in my specials, if I ever do a black guy in a, in a bit, yeah, I do a black guy voice. Right. You can't do that anymore. So now I just do British. So like, I, was, I was talking to Ron, and he was like, "Hello, mate." <laughs> that was a fucking rumble. <laughs> that was that was. You need to read that breath chapter again. <laughs> oh, cherry, oh, mate. So that's gonna be Ron now. You're like, yeah. I have a black bus driver. Just oh, you should you should do the thing where you go. Just a heads up, all right? He's black, so don't be weird about the impression. And then be like, he's like, Bertrand, we need to pull over for a stop. Refuse. Oh, oh, doop, 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 doopers. Do you think, what if you called him and you said, would you be offended if I did an impression of you? And he's like, what kind of impression? And then you go, I do it like this so as to not offend. Or what if you said, what if you ask him if you can do an impression of him? And he's like, all right. And then you just do like a real, like, hey, man. Like you do. Wait. By the way, that, that is Ron a little bit. Like Ron's, yeah. Ron, Ron is not, Ron grew up in Compton. Like yeah. there's, if you're like, what are you trying to say? He grew up in Compton. So if you're looking for like an impression of Ron, it is, it is that, he is that guy. Like he yeah. is like, put your shoes on, motherfucker. Yeah. Like that's Ron. Like that is him. Can you do the impression of him to him? Would he be, he wouldn't be offended. No. Yeah. Ron, Ron is, you know what, man? It's, it's, it's super refreshing about Ron, and I think part of the reason I've I loved... Just, two things. Another thing, the best commercial ever, because like, it just hit me. It's one, of my, it's, my, it's one of my favorite commercials of all time. It's Warren Sapp and Tracy Morgan. That commercial pull is... Pull this up right now. Have you seen it? No, I don't even know what you're talking it about. It is the fucking best. Well, I was, I'll tell you while he searches for it. The thing I love about Ron is that in this cancel culture, all this... People are hyper aware of everything. Yeah. Um, Ron was super refreshing because he just does not give a fuck. He just tells you what he's thinking. Yeah. And he doesn't give a fuck if he hurts your feelings or whatever. And that was what was fun about him. Let me. Ron is. Wait, you gotta put. Uh, let me put these on because I <clears throat> I've watched this commercial. I'm not kidding you. Like a thousand times. Hey, did we ever hear from Madeira? The. Did we ever hear from the uh, IUD place? The IUD place. Remember the IUD? Oh, the actress hit me up. Oh yeah. She said that they that whole thing's filmed in South Africa. What? That commercial was filmed in South Africa. Did you see the Vietnamese the baby that came out holding crew. one? A South African? No. <laughs> oh. 
The Vietnamese baby came out holding an IUD. No. Yeah. V- a Vietnamese baby got born holding the birth control that was tried to kill it. Well, they're 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 an amazing people. They have conviction and and they Vietnamese top okay. Mm, this is problematic. Go for it. If you if you if you were going to be Asian, what kind of Asian person would you want to be? Go ahead and let's watch this commercial. <laughs> Japanese, Chinese, Vietnamese, Thai. Well, they're all fascinating people. Um, I feel like the culture that I'm the most like intrigued by is Japanese, though. Oh, because of the samurai culture? No, just like all of it. I'm man. reading just... a samurai book right now. Okay. Five Rings. It's good. I don't know if that's the name of it. I think you. I think it, it's a martial arts. One, yeah, right? martial arts book. I'm reading it. I don't really understand it. That sounds right. I'm reading it because I'm writing a self-help book and I'm just kind of building it off samurai culture. Okay. Tell you, Seth, check it. Boom! Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm here. Straight out of your nightmares. <laughs> excuse me? Excuse you nothing. I'll excuse you as soon as we play a little football. You understand me, sweet tooth? You don't play football. <laughs> Every day I do ESPN NFL football with the first person football feature. One on one. Wow! Because I don't play. You know something? Oh, there you go. The little birdie's talking to me. He's saying, Seth can't mess with you. That too slut. Wait, Brady make it. Press. Make it a big screen. Oh. We got to go through this whole Tracy thing Tracy Morgan is so fucking funny. He's I hate that he so hates me. so naturally funny. And I got to say, especially for an athlete, you realize, so this is a, if you're going to prototypes, this is wacky guy, straight man. Yeah. Straight man takes, it's, it's a skill. Oh, it's, it's harder it's, to it's, do. It's than, dismissed. It's as harder like, to do than wacky guy, I think. And he does it. Look at, all right. Cause W Sap, check it. Boom! <laughs> I'm here. Straight out of your nightmares. <laughs> excuse me? Excuse you nothing. I'll excuse you as soon as we play a little football. You understand me, sweet tooth? You don't play football. <laughs> Every day I do ESPN NFL football with the first person football feature. One on one wow. Cause I don't play. You know something? Oh, there you go. The little birdie's talking to me. Dude. He says First of all, I don't think that that most of that is in oh script. I, there's no script they're there's just like wada, wada, wada. yeah they're like so you come in tracy just you do your thing and then um do you think you could probably just like act like he's crazy <laughs> he's like oh uh, yeah sure. i think i can figure that out <laughs> did you see the one with the him and ben watson no that's the only one that's better look at the tracy morgan is it ben watson yeah i think it's ben Dude, watson. i could do an entire episode about tracy morgan oh this this one is yeah, that's it. This is this is the one that that uh, set it off. Ben is, Wallace. Oh, Ben big. Wallace. Sorry, sorry. Make it big again, Ben Wallace. I said Watson. Big Ben Wallace. <laughs> I think you're going in the wrong direction, bro. Listen, dog. I'm beat. Some other time. <laughs> dog, huh? Let me tell you something. ESPN NBA basketball. I've lived the 24-7 mode. And I've achieved the ISO motion. I can clear the court to one side and take this one on one. Don't nobody is better than Reg. <laughs> <laughs> the way I dunk on you is going to look unorthodox. Ready to eat for everybody. He said, don't nobody is better than Reg. And Play then he time. fell off the ball. Play, Play that one more time. <laughs> Listen, dog. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Start at the beginning. Listen, dog. The, the fucking fact that the ball's behind his head. And he bounces it off the wall. <laughs> this Big is Ben Wallace. <laughs> I'm going in the wrong direction, bro. Listen, dog. I'm beat. Some other time. <laughs> dog, huh? Let me tell you something. Stop looking at him. ESPN NBA basketball. I've lived the 24-7 mode. And I've achieved the ISO motion. I can clear the court to one side and take this one on one. Don't nobody is better than Reg. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch those I can over watch and those over and over. over. Yeah, but that's I like... I got it. I mean, I would do a whole episode just asking Warren about this day, the day that he filmed his. I could do, have you, my, you know, my favorite Tracy Morgan ever is the Doug Flutie speech. The Doug Flutie speech? Type in Tracy Morgan, Doug Flutie. This had me, this, so, so I'm going to give it context. So, um, so, can they hear this? No, okay. So they're talking to Tracy Morgan about they're talking to Tracy Morgan about comedy and he is talking about characters. I think he's talking about getting into character and when you get into character, staying in character and real quick he flips from 
if I'm not mistaken, I'd love, I, I really am bummed that me and Tracy Morgan will never be friends. That he doesn't like the Tracy Morgan story, that he thinks it's right. Because he actually, aunt, somebody, I think on, a, on Reddit, yeah. someone was like, he was like, that's, I don't know who that is. That has never happened. Don't know that guy. Never smoked PCP. And you're like, okay, I, I, I know it probably wasn't PCP. I know it was a joint. You were fucking with me. But the to- story's true. I, I could never make that story up. I would be, if I could, I would just have millions of those and I'd just put in people that were dead. Yeah. Like, but, um, it's such a it, and he's oh. so fucking wait hold, what uh, put in the notes the Jen, Jen Aniston Jennifer Aniston so yeah. so um so the, in this in this clip he's talking about getting into character I would love to know more about that's why I would love to know what he's doing because he just all of a sudden cuts from telling about improv to becoming his high school football coach who ex, is explaining to and it's it's so beautiful that you're like. My God, you're good. Just what? Just a hit play. I remember you came into the, you used to come into the uptown, and cats used to be tense, and you used to do some of the silliest shit, and you used to tell cats, join in, join in, break up the tension. No, you Stand said up. no. You used to say uh, chemistry, like you used to, you used to want blend. If you see me doing this, play the air guitar, blend, blend, blend in with it. Go oh. in your mind and detail. Flow with it. Details. Learn how to do the study. Do your homework. I always tell y'all, do your homework. Foldage. Get footage. Yeah, you remember this? Remember how the footage. fuck you gonna know how to be great if you don't study greatness? And then here goes the character. Flow with it. Now look at game tape. Look at the game tape. <laughs> Hit somebody, goddammit. I don't give a fuck if it's your own teammate. Lay some pads on somebody. I swear to God, down for nothing if you start that dumb fluty shit again. <laughs> and when I call 23 dive, call the goddamn play. I didn't say Hail Mary. You ain't dumb fruity. You ain't dumb fruity. <laughs> Stop that dumb fruity shit, Darnell, uh, Dal Benelli. Just call the goddamn play and get in the huddle. Crazy. Okay, uh, you know, you know who was obsessed with that years ago. Jay Moore. Oh yeah, he was obsessed with this. I remember that. Jay would just, would be like, "Look at the gang tape, oh, footage." That Doug Flutie shit. You ain't Doug Flutie. That's so funny. That is like that is what's great about that guy is that he's just he really is eccentric. extreme of consciousness, eccentric. Yeah. yeah, and he also he has that gift. Like this is just a gift where you can just go. Here's the line. And then the way that he says it is funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you could be like, hey, um, you want another one? And then uh, I want you to be like, nah, I'm good. And the way that he's like, nah, I'm good. You, you laugh at the way he says, no, I'm good. That night we hung out with him. Uh, his, I remember the, I was obsessed with this line he, I, for a long time. On stage he was saying, I got a pretty dick. You can suck it with the lights on. <laughs> and I remember going like, Remember finger fucking in the handball courts? Who remembers finger fucking? It was such an honest, genuine, yeah. r- like, and I remember white people in the audience, because I had sat the whole crowd, just like a white couple just going, oh, yeah, like, <laughs> they never finger fucked in the handball court. Yeah. I got a pretty dick. You can suck it with the lights on. And I remember yeah. going like, I need a bitch with a C-section scar. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah. And then it was like when you finger fucking her. And you, you got pussy popping that bitch. Just, you pussy popping, but you got your, you got your nose and your you armpit. Your nose and your armpit smelling your own stank. Yeah. Like, he was just such an, a bizarrely unique. Like in, I in didn't like, ever get to see him do like the hour, but I'd heard different places be like, say that he either did 30, 40, or even 50 minutes just on eating ass. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so when every time I would play a club after Tracy, and there, I was like, "How was the Tracy weekend?" They're like, "Well, you know, you know, he sold out every show, but um, yeah, we had a number of walkouts." And I was like, "Was it for ass eating?" They're like, "Yeah, yeah, it was like he did like forty <laughs> minutes on ass eating." But you know, it's, it, that was that <laughs> which like, I thought was amazing. Like Patrice, Patrice used to do that. Um, I hate to speak about Patrice because he's passed, but like, and it, and it just sounds like whatever my experience maybe was isolated. Mm-hmm. So maybe I'm making it bigger than it was. But he, I remember him doing a Showtime special and talking about putting thumbs in girls' asses. Yeah, and I was like. In my head, I was like, that will not make the cut. Yeah. I was a young comic, and he was like, I just like to fucking... And you're just like, what? I remember Tony Woods doing that on a Last Comic Standing. Uh, uh, Thumb in the ass? Like Talking about just straight up fingering chicks' asses. And I was like, this is not making the cut. Yeah. But it's it's a, it's a really interesting, like almost like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah. 
But uh, but yeah, Tracy Morgan. It's interesting to me that like in sitcoms, that brilliance that you see in that in the those commercials or in that thing, it it translated, but it never translated as well as it did in SNL and in those commercials. Yeah, yeah. Like he always played a character of himself, kind of. Yeah. Like where it was a it was a little more static. Don't nobody is better than the rich, <laughs> dude. When he did, there was an SNL thing that he did where he was. I was with uh, Charlie Theron, and they were talking about both being African American. <laughs> Who's her, him and her? That's funny. <laughs> he is so fucking talented. Yeah, oh, he's so funny. God, what's Pro Style Dumbbells about? Oh, it's stupid compared to Tracy Morgan. Well, it's I'm obsessed with. Um, I, I so I'm putting a, a a gym together in the new podcast studio, mm-hmm. and I. Was like, oh, I just get dumbbells, and I was like, oh, I'll just get the rubber ended ones, the kinds they have at at Hilton's. And then I was like, wait, why would I want? Like, I bet I could get cool dumbbells. I bet I could get like, what if I got like the rounded ones, like the round ones that are all just cast iron, like you know, like they're sure. molded. And then I was like, wait, you know what dumbbells I really wanted? And I wanted to talk to you and Joe about this because I wonder if Joe has a memory of this. I want to get the I want to get the dumbbells from high school, the ones that were. So they're called pro style dumbbells, the ones that had plates and were welded. Mm-hmm. So you had a rack, but they all kind of look, type in pro style dumbbells, and when you when you use them, they're like the ones to the right, like that one, that Ivanko, Ivanko. See those? But do you remember the ones, the old school one, not the fucking rubber ones, the metal ones, the metal ones, metal pro style dumbbells. Yeah. So they were the kinds that when you did chest. And you brought them over, they clink. Clink, yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as opposed to like, and I was like, oh, I want to get, pro-. and you, and they were old, so your hands smelled like pennies when you used them. Yeah, and you were like, get them. I, but I cannot fucking find them. Well, every all I want used all these ones. All the uh, stuff has been sold out because um, sales went through the roof. Yeah, for it's home. hard finding dumbbells. Oh, anything. Yeah, plates, bars, like all those major manufacturers sold out of everything when when quarantine took place. I wanted to find. So I was going to, this is what I was going to do. I was going to reach out to local schools, like, like schools that don't have a lot of money in, in a city and go, let me check out your dumbbells. I'll take your dumbbells and then I'll buy you a new set of dumbbells. They'll take that. Yeah. Cause I want the old school ones. Do it. Like, I, but do but do you have such a romantic memory about those as I do? Well, when you, I, it's when you say like the clink, you know, like, yes, here's what actually happened to me. I, I put some equipment in my house to lift, you know? And I got metal plates instead of rubber plates. Yeah. And I don't like them. Why? I like the bumper plates more. It's just easier to have at home, especially grab them off, throw them on the ground than the uh, metal ones. Oh, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, that's, but those are plates, right? So what's Rogue? That's a company. Because we talked about Smith bars. I loved well, Smith machines. Because the Smith machine, it gives you a false sense of your strength. You know, so like yeah. if you bench, if you get on a bench and I put 225 on it's do you have just the the actual power to push that, but you don't have to do any of the stabilization. So yeah. but then if I go now jump off of that Smith machine to the next bench and it's just 225 on a on a free bar yeah. with plates, you'll notice that dramatically the difference really? Dramat- dramatically. Yes. Totally so, different. Because I, I want I'm, and much I'm, harder, so, much harder without it. Okay. What's the bare minimum you need in a home gym? What do you mean? Like you need a pull up bar? I mean, well, it depends what your goals are. That's what, what do you have is. in your gym? I have one of those racks, so I have a squat rack. See, and a I wanted a rack, but then I, I think I maybe I texted you guys, and Rogan was like, "Don't get a rack. Get dumbbells. Get a bench." I don't know. Maybe he said that. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. That sounds right from you. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's all kinds of things that someone might have said, but like I was like just a rack of free weights, and it depends just, what your goals are. What are your goals? That's like, honestly honestly the truth. just to not lose bone density. I mean, like I just I, want to lift a little bit of weights every now and then when I feel get excited. Some dumbbells would probably be better for you, but I do want to. I want a Smith rack, a Smith machine. Just I was like, you could do the everything. Smith machine and, is more like, I think I don't even know why they exist other than it, they seem like a safer. Like if you're like just want safety, yeah. So, you know, but like, you don't have to do any stability. So then, so that's where I got to pro style dumbbells where I was like, so say you, 
a lot of working out is being inspired to do it. So if you have something cool or maybe something that reminds you of when you were young, yeah. maybe you want to do it. So I was like, I'll get these old school pro style dumbbells like we used to have at Jesuit. And then I will look at those and I'll be able to go like, ah, oh, let's fucking throw up some weight. Like, yeah. as opposed to looking at, like, you ever look at the weights at, at, at a Hilton Garden Inn? Or, and yeah. you're like, you're like, I don't even want to fuck. Those, 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 I don't even. I know. They have, and they have, like, they'll, they'll go up to like 25 or 30 pounds. And you're like, I wanted right. to go up to like 80 pounds. I'll never Do use it. them, but just for looks. And then type in, um, what, a, I wish I could remember the name of this company, but the ones that are interesting are like the, uh, the the one that has a really it's like a coke can handle hmm. like the big 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 fucking weights i don't know inch smith inch i don't know why don't you do the squat rack get the rack i've do, i've been doing uh i've been doing um turk not turkish get ups uh hindu squats mm -hmm. lately with kettlebell i I've, I've been i've been doing a lot of kettlebell stuff lately that's great yeah but ma'am i realize i realize i don't have any muscle where my ass cheeks meet my legs, I have no muscle there. And it I run all like the time. like a hamstring thing. Yeah, I have no fucking strength in my Deadlifts. legs. Deadlifts. That's wanted... all backside. That's hamstrings. I need something. I need to be put on No, seriously. Island. That's do, do deadlifts. But you need to get bar, a bar. Deadlifts when you bend over and just sit up? Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to get the technique down. But yeah, it's a bar with weights, like the, the big Olympic bar. And then that's how you strengthen your, your hamstrings, for sure. I got to strengthen. My hamstrings are for shit. Running is not... Running is not cutting the fucking. No, I need. I, I need something running, more than you running. You need strength training. Get I've weights. been running. I've been running like fucking ridiculous. You want to hear about going to Jen Aston's house? A hundred percent. Okay. So I get a call a few weeks ago. Hold on. You're on tour. I need to be ready for this. Okay. This happened recently. Yeah. Like you were on tour. Before you start this story, I need to know that could I have gone to Jennifer Aniston's house with you if I had been in town? Possibly. Dude, this I can't hear the story. Like, a, Okay, go ahead. Let me hear it. I get a call from my agent, and uh, we've been talking about a couple of things, and he says, um, hey, would you be interested possibly uh, in a, a movie where you uh, – play a part with, with Jennifer Aniston and I go yeah of course okay and this role is you are you serving her Sundays <laughs> <laughs> I'm like You're what selling is her it? a used car I go what is it and he goes he goes it's he goes uh it's not it's not um it's more like a comedy drama hybrid and I go can I know more about it he goes well actually she wants to tell you about it and I think we're gonna do a like a a, a zoom thing right because it's during quarantine and he goes well, she just got a new house do you are you comfortable going to her house and i go yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i go of course so he goes all right so he puts me in touch with her assistant and they tell me all the information i bet her assistant's hot as fuck as a guy so is he still hot he's pretty hot <laughs> so i go to this house i hit the buzzer and they open the gate and I walk and I think that the assistant will greet me at the door. Hold on a second, hold on a second. You go to this house yeah. and you hit the buzzer. So you're on the street right I'm now? I'm on the street okay. and then I, I hit the buzzer. What car did you drive? Uh, my uh, sedan. Uh, okay. okay. You're going to Jennifer's house. Why? You don't drive the fucking I don't know. So, Porsche? I know. So I, I, I just, anyways, I walk up. She dated Brad Pitt. He was totally into cars. Like, I, what the fuck? All right. So I... But I'm also, I'll tell you this, I have, I have some anxiety, you know? Oh, you should have some yeah, fucking and I'm anxiety. Like, I Did don't you know, eat? Did you it, eat before you went? Not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. I'm a little hungry. Warren Sapp's going to love us? I'm a little hungry. So, but I'm also like, you know, how do I act, right? So I was, I'm like, I'm like, I'm being more jovial than I actually feel. You know, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. so I walk, I, I walk up and the door opens and I go, hi. I go, I'm Tom. And she goes, I'm Rachel. And I go, what? And she goes, I'm Rachel from the, <laughs> from the hit television show Friends. So I think like we're doing a bit now, you know, and this is how she's greeting me. Stop, and I'm stop, like, stop, 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 stop. This is a real story. Yeah. So I, I go, okay. I go, I go, all right. I'm like, yeah, I, I go, I, I 
I'm very familiar. I don't know what to say. So I'm like, I, uh, yeah, it's a good show. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, yeah. We were on a break. Yeah. So I'm like, is this? I got. I go. I sometimes you know you feel like you're a comedian. So someone's like, this is my joke. Yeah. And I go, I go. Yeah. And we're we're in her doorway. So we, yeah. the door's not even closed yet. We're both standing at her door, and I'm like, okay. And I didn't know if she's gonna like make a joke now. Yeah. And she's just looking at me, and I was like, I go. Yeah, and she goes, "Do you know Ross?" And I go, "He's your brother." <laughs> and she goes, "Not everybody knows that." And I'm like, "I don't know what the hell is going on." So, I'm like, "Yeah." I go, "Yeah, yeah," cuz uh uh I go, I, "I'm familiar with Chandler too." And she goes, "Oh, you know him?" And I go, from the show yeah and she's like yeah and then she starts to turn down the corridor like the hallway and she goes do you know phoebe and i go yep she goes phoebe and i go that from the show the hit television show friends yeah and she goes that's actually played by an actress named lisa kudrow and i go what the fuck are you doing I'm fucking lost. I'm scared now. Yeah. And I, and like, we're about to turn a corner. So I'm, I stop because everything inside of me is like, you should get out of here. Like, this is not. Fuck. Yeah. Yes. And I go, what? I actually said, what the hell is going on? What are you doing? I said, what are you doing? Yeah. And she turns back to me and she goes, it's called acting. And she turns around and she walks down the hall. I just made that whole story up. You're a fucking cunt. <laughs> you said. You're a fucking you... <laughs> cunt. You're a cunt. You're such a. I fucking. You're such a cunt. I believe all of this. I know. Do you know I why? Because you told me you said the Tracy Morgan thing. You're like, there's no way I can make that up. So I go, I wonder if I can make up a story. By the way, that's a good story. That's a. That's a. That's an okay story. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. I really How, sitting here going like You're like, this is a fucking Yeah. Let's make a vow yeah. that if we ever meet Jennifer Anderson, we bring each other. Okay. And then do we tell her this story? No. Oh. I say we uh let's meet Jennifer Aniston. I think Warren Sapka set it up. I I wouldn't be sure. I bet we could get her on our show. Uh we're we're gonna have such cachet when we got Warren. We're gonna get such big guests. Joe Montana, definitely. Brett Favre, definitely. We have to ask everybody from that era about Charles Haley. That's the only thing I want to know. Charles Haley. We got to get 49er or Cowboys teammates from that era and be like, what was Charles Haley like? Tell us a Charles Haley story. Deion Sanders, immediately. But you know, some people are going to be like, you know, Chuck's a good guy. I think he's gone through some hardships with, uh, I'm I'm assuming he is bipolar. So I'm sure that. That all sounds like bipolar behavior. We got to run in a second, but what did you fucking... First of all, how are you erasing your text messages all the time? I have no fucking idea. I was wondering if it's something on my phone. Like if I set up a thing to erase it, because I'm not even touching them. Oh, my daughter's texting me. You know it's bad when your daughter's like, do you need me to come pick you up? (laughs) The answer is yes, by the way. Yes. I love I, having a 16 year old. I bet. It's the I fucking bet. greatest. I'm at the age now where I'm like, go get my socks. Like that's the big advantage. Oh, the other day like we're, we're at the fucking, we're having, we're having catch at the new house. Mm-hmm. We're playing softball and it's hot. And I'm like, God damn it. So I go to the fridge to get a, a drink and all they, all we have is beer in the fridge. It's all from the tour bus. So I go, I'm going fucking beer. And then I go, Oh God damn it. I got to drive. And then George just goes, I can drive. I went, Oh yes. I was like, it's like when I got your mom pregnant. You are paying off twice, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> How are you cutting off your own skin tags? Uh, that's where that kid dropped the fucking ball. The kid did? Yeah. I go, George, she's the only one I trust. I don't trust Isla totally because Isla, everything, if it's funny, it's fu- it's, she doesn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. But I go, George, I have a skin tag. I had a really bit, bad skin tag on my neck. Uh-huh. Legit bad. And I said, all I need you to do is get some... What I wanted her first to do is take dental floss, tie a knot around it, and then just rip the dental floss off and rip it off. Do you do this normally? 
Uh, no, I've never done that, but I knew it would work. And so, you ever think about like calling a dermatologist or anything? I thought about it. It's just in the pandemic. It's not worth the time. Jennifer Aston told me actually about a good doctor. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I got so excited. I know you did. It was so fun. Because <laughs> you know I'm I'm all frilly about I celebrities. I was, it was so fun. I wish I could have dressed it up more for you. I'm sorry. God, I should have known you. Said, I drove the sedan. You would have never driven the sedan. So I go. Then I said I got all these different skin tag removal because it was a big skin out of nowhere there's a removal kit i got one it's called a, uh, it's called tag band i think it's called oh so you slide a rubber band around it and then it kills it within 10 days but i didn't want to have something on my neck for 10 days that looked like it was dying and then i had one that it's called a, uh, it's called tag something where you you freeze it but once again it's like it's you got this thing on your neck for 10 days it's dying so I was like, I know that I've cut, I've had them before where I just cut them off with nail clippers. And so I was like, George, I go to a room. I said, listen, baby, I need you right now. I need you in a way that, that, that you don't understand and I need you to help me. I go, I need you to cut this skin tag. She went, no, and just shut her door. And I went, I, that can't be your answer. It's happening. So then I go to Isla, who I do not trust. And I go, hey, I need you. And she was like, I'll help you. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, we're fucked. So we go into the bedroom. And I get these, I get cuticle cutters, you know, those kind. Mm -hmm. So they're a little more, they're a little sharper, a little, little more like razors. I heat them up. Cuticle cutters? Cuticle, cuticle clippers. C pull up cuticle clippers. I am buzzed. Those kind. Yep. Those. I, yeah. Oh that's yeah. Exactly what it those is. are like, those have like real sharpness to them. Yeah. Uh, and so I just, uh, had her snip it off. Actually, Leanne, Leanne was... Isla tried and it did not work and then Leanne just came in and just went sink and it just it hurt? No, not at all. Not at all? It, it hurt it's a little pinch, but not bad. Where, I like is that one right there on your neck? As a matter of fact, I was Let thinking me see. Yeah, that's wow. I was thinking about having you do it. I would do it. You would? I knew you would. I would do it. You know, there's so many fucking things my my family won't do for me that I think if we were in a gay relationship, you would do. I could even do it without the gay relationship. I could still do it. <laughs> like next time you want me to do it, I'll do it. You know, I got some little baby ones right here that I think might need some clipping. Next episode? Next episode, let's clip them off. Okay. Let's clean me up. Okay. Let's get some sanitizing things, obviously. You know? Yeah. Oh, next episode involves surgery. You know what uh, Nadav won't let me do? What? Give him a chiropractic adjustment. Really? Yeah. He's like, oh, what if you hurt me? I'm like, what if I don't hurt you? Wait, how, can you do it? I've been watching tons of videos. <laughs> I watch a lot of chiropractic Yes. Aren't they really like they're so relaxing? Yeah. Did you see the one of the, <laughs> the I'll send you a link to my favorite chiropractic adjustment ever. It's a gangbanger or like a like a who goes in and gets an adjustment and the guy just fucks him up. Is it who fucks him up? Do you remember the doctor? Re a redneck doctor? Oh. I watch four primarily. Who? I watch Cipriano. I'm gonna, I, I gotta pull up. I gotta pull up my feet because I know that I. Mond, I or something. It's a woman in like the Orlando area, Mont Mondrian or something like that. I watch her. I watch. Um, this other dude, and then there's like one guy who just. You know how the YouTube starts giving you the algorithm? Yeah. There's one guy who like. Only does chicks in yoga pants. Well, be, high tower, high tower. You oh, I've seen the. Yeah, that guy. The yoga pants ones are yeah, like, and you're, you're like, like oh, wow. you're tricking me. I'm just you're gonna like, watch. You don't porn. really. Uh... Hold on, I'm yeah. gonna find the guy. I think the comments in this fucking video are the funniest comments I've ever read From in my that? life. I gotta find this guy. Uh, 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 yeah, let me see. I'm gonna type in gang. Gang banger. It, it's I, adjusted. It's, well, no, it's like it's like a it's like a. It's a guy, he's not a gangbanger. He's like the chiropractor. It, it's the funniest fucking one. I wish I could find it right now. Advanced chiropractics. Dude, chiropractic videos. If you knew that this was going to be a thing, isn't this crazy how much this business has changed? Is that like, I watch a lot of uh, boat launch videos. Boat launch? What's like that? Just launching boats. I almost bought a jet ski the other day. Yeah, I saw you 
tweeted about dude, it. Dude, I'm like, why wouldn't I get them? You know, there's I, there's this guy, Brody Moses, I think is his name. Yeah. He lives in Australia, and he just has a, a jet ski, and he goes out in the ocean and fishes. And I thought you were going to say jet, and my dick got hard, you know? Fuck. Once our podcast gets picked up with Warren Sapp to go viral. We'll buy one? We're buying a jet. Okay, great. We're, me, you, and Warren Sapp are buying a jet together so that we can fly him out here and then he'll be like oh no, no I, I don't want to own a jet and we'll be like oh we got it already <laughs> we already bought it hey by the way we put your you guys saw your boat sorry <laughs> um I, I wonder okay i'm gonna type in chiropractic homeboy all right why don't you put out because i know you have a little buzz going put out a message that we can send to jen Aston about meeting her for real okay look into the, your camera go ahead Hey, Jen, it's Bert Kreischer. See you soon. <laughs> I froze. I froze. It's all right. I froze. I froze. Yeah, I, I think I, she I, definitely. I'm good. At, I'm good. At, yeah, she might have definitely clicked. Hey, Jen, it's Bert Kreischer. I'm here with Tom Segura. Uh, both of us have Netflix specials. I already fucked it up. All right, yeah. let me start again. Hey, Jen, comedian. God damn it, I'm fucking this up. It's all right. Hey, I'm not Brad Pitt. Hey, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rachel, what's up? <laughs> I had a great time. I had a great lunch, and I really want to move forward with what we talked about. Let's go back and forth. Ready? Yeah. Um, you go to your camera. I'll go to my camera, okay. and then we'll go back and forth, and then we'll cut a sizzle. And then, But what do we want out of this? Do we just want to do, like, brunch with her at her yeah. house? Yeah, yeah. Brunch with her I mean, it's kind, of, it's kind of, like, you know, presumptive to say we have to be at your house. You know what I mean? Like we just want to, how about we just want to have lunch? We're not coming to my fucking house. We can't fit all of us. Well, I'm just saying though, we can't, you can't, you know, to, to is meeting someone is meeting. And if you go, I want to meet you at your house. Well, everything's closed. It's got to be at her house or your house. Okay. Well, Do we invite house. her to your house? No. Sure. No, we go to her house. Okay. How about we, we say. Do we, we bring our wives. No. <laughs> good, 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 good. She can, can she bring a dude? For safety. No, that's, <laughs> that sends the wrong message. We're dangerous. You should protect yourself. <laughs> For safety. <laughs> For safety. That, that the it doesn't sound good. For <laughs> we understand that you might feel threatened in our presence. So if you want to have a couple of security people there, it's a good idea. <laughs> For safety. And then you would... <laughs> if you're around us, you might think you're gonna die. So bring bring you know that my kids are in the wrong message. <laughs> Protect yourself. <laughs> what if she's? What if she was like about to be like? I'll meet these guys, and then we're like, but you gotta be safe. <laughs> feel really I feel really sick again oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> for safety I can I tell you what makes me so happy 
is I know I can watch this now, and I'm going to laugh at this heart again. I know. For safety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, feel. Oh, oh, fuck me. I can't actually, I can feel my lungs oh. struggling. I felt, you know the smell of throw up when it comes out your nose? get out of here uh, oh. hold on let me kill this beer okay oh I have never <laughs> had this much fun with my family <laughs> <laughs> that is the hardest I've ever I'm gonna need I'm gonna need Nadav to clip that out for me to have on my phone just to fucking cheer me up yeah yeah oh fuck for safety <laughs> Uh, so Jen, we'd love to stop by. This anytime. is it. This yeah. is our plea. This is our plea. And uh, you should, we do understand <laughs> if you have security. <laughs> now we do. Now we definitely do. <laughs> but we're we would never hurt you. I feel sick. Uh, I actually feel sick. Uh, Again. Uh, this reminds me of Kool-Aid. Oh, All right. For safety. Yeah, protect yourself. For safety. Are you totally safe with us? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally safe. You might want to have a few guys around, but you should be <laughs> uh, 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 We'd love to meet uh, you still. <laughs> Should protect yourself. Uh, really come on, prepared. <laughs> yeah, be prepared for anything. <laughs> I wish I wasn't wearing a see-through shirt. Oh my fucking god. Oh. 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 Oh my god, this has been the best episode we've ever done. We Did we book war in this we episode? We booked war in episodes this episode. This episode. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me. Oh my god. And we, and we low key <laughs> threatened James. <laughs> Do you know what's going to happen if she sees this and she ever sees one of us in public? You're sweating so I'm much. Pouring sweat. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh. Uh, who reps her? We gotta find out, we who, gotta reps find out who reps Jen Anderson. Oh, we're not a threat. We just want to say that <laughs> we're not a threat. Sweaty guys crying, thinking about you. We Ow. love you. We respect you, oh. and we would never. We're never gonna hurt you. <laughs> we we're promise not. we won't hurt you. We're not gonna. <laughs> All right, we gotta wrap this up. Oh, I could laugh God like this it. for another hour. Oh. oh. <coughs> Let me just kill this beer. All right. Hey, to Warren Sapp and Jennifer Aniston. Yes. This has been a great fucking episode. That was a lot of fun. I love this show. Yeah, it's so fun. No one's. <laughs> I have tears in my eyes. I see it. 
Oh, 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 oh. Just wrap, it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. I'm going to go. All right, I'm going to go binge watch Friends. I got to go. Oh. I uh, thought, love you. I love you. I love you. Thank I you, guys. I love you, Nadav. All right. Hello, bye, guys. Bert and Tom. Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.